Hello from a German city with a rich football pedigree. We're in Hamburg at the Volksparkstadion. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's PSV facing Galatasaray. Well, it's exciting to watch as supporters and commentators alike, like me and you, Derek. I can guarantee that the players will be nervous as heck. Really big night for both teams. Well, as a team, Lee, they love to apply almost suffocating pressure. Based on the lineup, do you expect the same approach today? Yeah, I think so, Derek. It makes it really difficult for the opponents to find their rhythm unless their touch is absolutely perfect. It forces mistakes, so I'd expect we'll be seeing plenty of that from them today. out looks for Galatasaray fairly conventional 4-5-1 setup yeah that back four will be protected throughout the game with the five midfield players in front of them really important that they do support that lone striker when they do have the ball and underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg Max, Olivier Boscalier. He's given us away. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. Can they nudge in front? And danger still. And there it is! The first goal of the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Here we can take a look at it again. I'm sure the coaching staff will too. Just not good enough, you have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. Opening goal of the game, then. A creative look about this. And an astute piece of defending. Daniel Malin. Zahabi with it. Good looking ball. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Firing it in. Tremendous block. And now the delivery. Did his job defensively. Dangerous looking attack. And the ball is loose. And at the second time of asking, it's a goal. The keeper, meanwhile, looks to the heavens. Well, as we see this again, Derek, it's easy to be critical. And I'll stress, I've never been a goalkeeper, but surely he's got to do better than that. His mistake leads to the goal, no doubt about it. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out, one apiece.
Ferran Zahavi. Promising attack this. And the cross is very much on. Oh, good strike. Didn't fall the keeper. A chance now with the corner. And firing it into the area. Now the pressure from his opponent was telling. Feguli. And played in towards Falcao. Now following the clearance, it will be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. And able to get a body in the way. Closing down well. Firing it towards goal. Now defenders having to cover up. Over the touchline for a throw in. Not possibilities inside the box. Excellent ball towards the front post. Chance maybe. A decisive clearance it was. Sadly, too many things wrong about that effort. Oh, everything was wrong about it. Body shape, positioning, the idea of where he was going to put the ball. It was all going wrong. It's a poor attempt, really, for him. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Well, options at the back post here. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And then he doesn't quite catch it cleanly, does he? But I'm not sure he'll care, to be honest. Gets just enough on it to beat the keeper, and that's all that matters. So there we have it, 2-1. Doniel Malen. Pablo Rosario. Gakpo giving the ball away Falcao he made it look simple really what about the stoppage time situation two minutes the word Max Olivier Boscalli and with that the first half draws to a close he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Lee? second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway El Abdelawi now Emre Akbaba couldn't keep it Gakpo moving the ball forward with purpose and Gutze in the middle and clears his lines Onyekuru. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Fruitful looking attack. Falcao waiting. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to the lead. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Onyekuru. And a chance to whip it in here. And he's in. And the 
goalkeeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Daniel Malin. Credit to them for winning back possession. On the offensive. And the defender takes care of business. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Oh, good vision. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And because he's on his own, he collects himself, and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Pablo Rosario. Mario Götze. Dumfries. Effective challenge. Breaking at pace. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. It has to be! Hunting a hat-trick, he was, but couldn't make it count. Well, so much confidence he's got after his first two goals. You fully expected him to score there, but he's missed it. Fierhever. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Eran Zahavi. Daniel Malin going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Daniel Malin getting the better of his opponent. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Jetson Fernandes. They couldn't maintain possession. Failure to hold it by Götze. Playing with purpose and control. Now the attack promising as it was. Scuppered there. Under some pressure. Chance here. There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Daniel Malin. Eran Zahavi. PSV have given the ball away. And they have possession again. We are going to have two additional minutes. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. And the referee blows his whistle. That is the end of the contest. And a fine result for the away fans. And if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil, then they will surely be going through.
Yeah, haven't they done well? You can see the confidence.